celebrate the living presence of Christ in the, in the word that is proclaimed and in the bread of life and grace. May we find inspiration and beauty for our church. Please stand. Know. We are worshiping them to your child. Julia and Elizabeth. And ask them to have their child baptized. You are accepting the response as Christ taught us by loving God and one another. And as parents, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? The church turns to the godparents. Are you ready to assist and help these parents in their community as Christian mother and father? Elizabeth, our Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In his name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by tracing the sign of the cross on your forehead, and then by parents and godparents to the same. this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God who is loved. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives to her is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in her heart. And if your own faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, we invite you to renew now the vows of your own baptism, to reject sin, to confess your faith in the church. For this is the faith of the church, and this is the faith in which she will be baptized into. And so I ask you, parents and godparents, do you reject Satan and all of his works and all of his empty promises? And I invite all of us to renew now our own profession of faith. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is seated now at the right hand of God the Father. Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? Amen. My friends, this is our faith. This is the faith of our church, and this is the faith for which she is about to be baptized into. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Jesus himself was anointed a priest, a prophet, and a king, so may you live always as a member of his body and inherit everlasting life. Elizabeth, you have become a new creation 
and have clothed yourself in Christ Jesus. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity, and with your family and your friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Together we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. See that the flame of faith which is alive in your hearts is kept alive in the heart of this child, so that when the Lord comes, she may go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Together we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As a sign of welcome, we welcome Julia Elizabeth into our community this day. This round of applause. Is out, Michael? It's about 85 degrees out. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Kim. Hello, everybody. Oh, the natural feelings right there. Changing the diaper. <laughs> Wow, my relatives. I thought I recognized that's right. 